Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdanggapanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Welcome back, my dear grade 7 learners. How are you? I hope you are all fine and safe. I'm Ma'am Marisa Dio Campo from Dalandanan National High School, your health teacher. Are you excited to learn? If yes, let's begin. Before we start our discussion, let us be reminded of the guidelines to follow during our live streaming class. Be on time. Avoid unnecessary words in the comment box. No hate speech. Stay focused and avoid interruptions. Take down notes while listening and watching. Have fun and enjoy learning. Here are the most essential learning competencies for today's lesson. Explain non-communicable diseases based on cause and effects, signs and symptoms, risk factors and protective factors, and possible complications. Correct beats and policies about non-communicable diseases. Let us first check your prior knowledge by answering our pre-assessment. Group the words into two, communicable or non-communicable diseases. Type your answer in the comment box and I will give you a minute to answer. Ready? the answers. Communicable diseases, measles, dengue, influenza, COVID-19, tuberculosis, hepatitis, non-communicable diseases, arthritis, allergy, diabetes, renal failure, cancer, asthma. Will you able to get the correct answers? If yes, good job, grade 7 learners! In the previous lesson, you have learned about mental health, stress management, and common mental disorders. As we go along the way, the next topic that we will have in this quarter deals with the prevention and control of diseases. What is disease? Disease is a particular abnormal condition and a disorder of a structure or function that affects some or all part of an organism. It is often interpreted as a medical condition associated with signs and symptoms. 
There are two classifications of diseases. Communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases or NCD. Communicable diseases are caused by pathogens or disease-causing organisms and can be transmitted from one person to another or from animals to people. Examples are influenza, cholera, dengue fever, tuberculosis, and warts. On the other hand, non-communicable diseases cannot be transmitted from one person to another. Many of these diseases were caused by unhealthy lifestyle. Examples of these are cancer, diabetes, arthritis, renal failure, asthma, and cardiovascular disease. This lesson will focus on the nature common of non-communicable diseases or NCDs. Non-communicable diseases are not caused by pathogens. Non-infectious cannot be transmitted by people, vectors, or contaminated objects. Long duration and generally slow progression caused by either improper lifestyle, genetic conditions, or hazards in the environment. Here are some common examples of non-communicable diseases. Asthma, a chronic lung disease that causes airways to become inflamed, which means that they swell and produce lots of thick mucus. Signs and symptoms, shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, chest tightness. Allergy Allergy is a misguided reaction to foreign substances by the immune system. Signs and symptoms, low blood pressure, runny nose, intense itching, swelling of the throat. Arthritis It is the inflammation of the joints. Usually occurs during old age. Common types are rheumatoid arthritis causes pain and swelling of many joints all over the body. And osteoarthritis a disease of older people. Signs and symptoms of arthritis, joint redness, swelling, tenderness and warmth, locking of the joint, stiffness, loss of range of motion of the joint. Cardiovascular diseases. It is a disease of the heart and blood vessel. Heart or cardio disease, including congenital heart disease, congestive heart failure, arrhythmia, rheumatic heart disease, and myocardial infraction or heart attack. Vascular or blood vessel disease, including arteriosclerosis, hypertension, stroke, and aneurysm. Signs and symptoms of cardiovascular disease. Shortness of breath, pain in the neck, jaw, throat, upper abdomen or back, chest pain, chest tightness, numbness, weakness, or coldness. Cancer 
caused by abnormal cells growing without control called tumor. There are two types of tumor. Benign. Masses of cells that are not cancerous and do not spread. Malignant. Cancerous cells and may spread to other parts of the body by moving along the blood vessels. Signs and symptoms of cancer Change in bowel or bladder habits Sore that does not heal Unusual bleeding or discharge Indigestion or difficulty in swallowing Unexplained weight loss Obvious change in wart or mold Diabetes it is a disease that prevents the body from converting food into energy. Signs and symptoms Excessive urination, thirst and hunger that may result to weight loss, lack of energy and shortness of breath. Renal failure It is a medical condition in which the kidneys fail to adequately filter waste products from the blood. Signs and symptoms Decreased urine output Shortness of breath Fluid retention causing swelling of your legs Ankles or feet Irregular heartbeat Nausea Fatigue Confusion those are common examples of non-communicable diseases or Some people believe in different myths and fallacies about non-communicable diseases. This sometimes lead to misconceptions and more serious health problems. As a student, you need to be aware of the myths and fallacies to help spread awareness. What are the myths about non-communicable diseases or NCDs? NCDs are mainly diseases of the elderly and rich. Unrelated to infectious diseases. All NCDs are preventable. You cannot change human behavior when it comes to NCDs. No cost-effective solutions exist for NCDs. Too expensive and complex to treat. On the other hand, here are the fact files about NCDs. NCDs are responsible for 63% of all deaths worldwide. 80% of NCDs deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries. And more than 9 million of all deaths attributed to NCDs occur before the age of 60. And around the world, NCDs affect women and men almost equally. Non-communicable diseases are not caused by pathogens, but rather by how people live by conditions with which they are born or by the hazards around them. It also includes diseases caused by a breakdown of body tissues, poor diets, environmental and occupational hazards, stress, and tension. Type 
Yes, yes in the given word is an example of non-communicable diseases or NCDs. And no, if not. And I will give you a minute to answer. Ready? Here are the answers. 1. Yes. 2. No. 3. No. 4. Yes. 5. No. 6. No. 7. Yes. 8. No. 9. Yes. 10. Yes. If you've got all the correct answers, well done learners! Let me leave you a quotation from a Catalan proverb. It says, From the bitterness of disease, man learns the sweetness of health. Always remember, health is wealth. Once again, I'm Mam Ma Marisa Dio Campo saying thank you, stay safe, and stay healthy.